everything is like covered in a layer of mist. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another week in our lives. Oh, it is 7.51 on Monday morning, November, what is today? It's Monday, November 18th, 7.52 in the morning, and I am headed off to work. I cannot believe it is already the 18th. I swear, November is fucking flying by, like, really, really fast. But yeah, it's Monday, back to another week. Nothing super crazy exciting happening this week. Um, this past weekend was a good weekend. It was actually one of like the better weekends I've had in a long time, just for the sole reason that I got to spend the entire weekend with Tito, because I literally had not seen Tito in two weeks. And the last time we were together was when we were in Florida. So like, obviously we spent the whole weekend together, but like we were in Florida. So we were like busy, you know, we didn't really get to just like hang out, just us. This past weekend, I, um, <laughs> We got to spend a lot of time just together, which was nice because, like I said, we had literally not seen each other in so long. We um, we decorated for Christmas yesterday, not completely. Um, we still have like two more trees that we have to put up and like other decor, but we did our whole like family room and our foyer and everything, which was fun. We didn't vlog it, which I swear this is like probably the first time we didn't vlog decorating for Christmas, but I did film content to make a TikTok. I haven't made it yet, but I'm gonna try to post that maybe today. Um, so you guys can see like a little bit of a behind the scenes of us decorating, but we don't vlog on Sundays. So I was like, it just doesn't like make any amount of sense to vlog. So we just did it. Um, but yeah, that was, that was fun. Um, putting up all the, some of the Christmas stuff. I still need to put up the tree in my room, but I just have not like had time to do that. I feel like I've just been like so busy, but I don't know why I feel that way because I haven't been any busier than like I ever am and I'm never busy so I don't know why I feel like the last like several weeks I've just been like so busy and haven't had time to do anything but that's just how I feel so this week nothing crazy going on just a normal week of work I cannot believe Thanksgiving is already next week um that is crazy we are me and Leanna and Nelson and Tito are gonna try to go to the Pentatonix concert on Thursday every single year since Tito and I have been dating I have meant to get us tickets to go to the Pentatonix concert because they go on tour every single Christmas season and every year I forget about it until it's too late like until not until it's too late but until they've already put tickets on sale and with the way the fucking concert ticket market is these days you know if you don't log in to buy tickets the second they go on sale you're gonna just get stuck with resale tickets and every year this is that's what happens to me like I don't think about it until it's like November and then I'm like oh shit is Pentatonix coming? And then I look on Ticketmaster and they are coming, but tickets have already been on sale for weeks and it's all le resale tickets left. And like, I am just not participating in this bullshit resale, everyone's paying way too much fucking money for concert tickets situation we have going on right now. I am just, I am boycotting resale tickets. I'm not doing it. And then this year, the same thing happened. I forgot about it until they had already gone on sale and then I looked and they're coming this year to Eagle Bank Arena, which is uh, part of George Mason's campus, which is really not far from us at all. So I was like, oh my God, of course I'm gonna be Eagle, at Eagle Bank. And I fucking forgot about the tickets and now they're all resale tickets. So I was like looking at them, this was like weeks ago, and they were like, like $120, like around that. And I was just so annoyed and I was like, oh my God, like I can't believe I did this again, I'm just not doing it. But then, Last week, I was watching the new Christmas movie on Netflix, which is about Pentatonix, and I was like, Ugh. like I just really want to go. So I pulled up Ticketmaster again, and the tickets were like, like I could get resale tickets, not good seats. They're all the way in the back, but Eagle Bank's not like a big venue, so it's not really that big of a deal if you're all the way in the back. Um, and they were like $115 or something like that. So I was like, Ugh. like I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it. So I texted Leanna and she was like, yes, but she had to figure out if she could get her shift switched or not. So we had to like wait a day, a couple days for her to like see if she could get her shift switched. And she got her shift switched. And then we went to look at the tickets and they had gone up to like $170. I'm just not paying $170 to go see Pentatonix at Eagle Bank Arena. Like I'm just not doing that. So then Leanna and I were like, well shit. So then we were like, well, let's just wait because maybe the tickets will like get cheaper again. <laughs> so 
we are just waiting. So we're still just waiting. And the tickets have been getting cheaper. Now, I actually didn't check today, but yesterday the tickets were, they had tickets at $130. So we were like, okay, if we, if they go down to like 120, we'll just buy them. That's my really long story of how we might go to the Pentatonix concert on Thursday. I'm hoping we do, because Leanna like got her shift switched and like, I just think it would be fun and I want to go. But I also was like, I don't want to fucking spend that much money to go. Like, that's just going to piss me off if we spend that much money. So, anyway. That was a really long story about that. But, yeah. I will keep you updated. I, when I get to work, I'm going to look and see if tickets have gotten any cheaper. Because if they get to 120, I'm just going to buy them. Anyway, now that I've just talked for 11 fucking minutes on accident for no reason. Did not mean to do that. My bad. I am going to go finish my drive to work. So, I will see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is no November. I have been saying October all month long. It is November 20th. Yes. 9.07 in the morning. And I am up and ready for the day. I had to get up early today to go to Costco with my mom. Um, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. So that's why I'm up and completely dressed and ready to go. At 9 a.m. on my day off, I slept horribly last night. I don't know why. I could, I just like couldn't fall asleep. I couldn't stop thinking about money in a bad way. So that was stressing me out. I also had a TikTok sound stuck in my head, like a Christmas song. I don't even remember which one it was, but it was one that I keep hearing on TikTok and it was stuck in my head. And then on top of that, you can probably hear my fish tank. That was keeping me up. I need to fill it. A little bit more so that the filter is not so freaking loud so between all of those things i just had the hardest time falling asleep and then once i did fall asleep i just woke up like i woke up so many times last night and i then i finally woke up this morning and i was missing my thumbnail so that was weird i don't know how that fell off in my sleep but whatever yeah i have a busy day ahead of me i have to go to class with my mom and then i have a nail appointment at 1 30 today but I have a bunch of <clears throat> a bunch of stuff I need to get done, um, like vlog wise and that one dog mom wise. Um, I have to finish editing the vlog. I'm waiting on all of Caitlin's footage. We have been having a hard time with that this week, but what else is new? Um, so I'm waiting on all of that. I did edit my portion of the vlog, so I just need her footage so I can finish it. And then I have um, two different TikTok campaigns I need to film and an Instagram one that I, I could just do an Instagram pose, like a picture, which would be easier, but I kind of want to do a reel, which in that case is three videos I have to film. So that, that is probably gonna take up a lot of my time today. So I also really need to clean my bathroom. My bathroom is really gross. I have not cleaned it in an embarrassingly long time. So that I need to get done too. And then I need to do laundry as usual. Um, yeah so that is what is on my to-do list for today um should be a productive day i hope i really wanted to go to target and tj maxx and do some christmas shopping today but i just don't think that that's in the cards because i don't think i have time because i have to do a bunch of tiktoks so that's that but yeah anyway i'm just waiting for my mom to tell me she's ready so that we can go but i wanted to hop in and tell you about my day and um yeah I will take you along with me later on so that's that all right it's hours later it's 1 20 I'm on my way to go get my nails done and then my day got switched up a little bit because I have to go to TJ Maxx and well I don't have to go to Target <laughs> I have to go to TJ Maxx because I have some things I bought for Tito for Christmas that I need to return and I did not really realize that TJ Maxx had like a 30 day return policy. So today is day 29 of my 30 day window. So I have to go today, um, which was not at all part of my plan, but I need to return these things because they're not gonna fit him. So I have to return them. So I have to go to TJ Maxx now. So I originally today wanted to go to TJ Maxx and Target, but then I had a bunch of other stuff I had to do. So I was like, well, I'm just not gonna have time. So I'm just not gonna do that. But now I have to make time. So gonna do that I have not gotten to edit the vlog yet um I got home from Costco like an hour and a half ago with my mom and 
I posted, I did one of the TikToks I had to do, and I'm downloading Caitlin's footage, but it's so much footage that it was taking so long to download. So I was wait that hadn't even finished downloading yet by the time I left. So that's just gonna have to get done when I get back. And then hopefully I will also find time to do those other TikToks. But right now I'm on my way to get my nails done. So I'm gonna go get these fixed. Sarah mess. Um, and then after that, I will go to TJ Maxx. And then since Target is right next to TJ Maxx or right near TJ Maxx, I'm gonna just go in there as well because I am running low on a lot of things, like toiletry things. Um, but so I need to go. I need to go. I just I didn't think I had time today. Like I was prioritizing my social media stuff I had to do, but now I gotta make a return because if I don't get my money back for this stuff, I'm gonna be really annoyed because he can't fit in them. So gotta go do that. All right, just got out of the nail salon. I went with this burnt orange color. Oh my gosh, the like um, I think it's the acetone that he wipes my nails with. I don't know if it's acetone or not. In my mind, it is so <laughs> that he uses to like um, he, I don't know what I don't know what the point of it is, but he wipes my nails off with it when he finishes them, and it always leaves this like weird residue around my fingers and then it looks like a mess okay anyway here they are i like it it's a nice it's a good fall color perfect for thanksgiving also my thumbnails both well this one had already fallen off and then this one was coming off so he just took it off so these are my real nails there's no tip on them so my nails are really long and i also had him cut them down a lot which this length is so much better and more manageable for me because they were really really long so i'm happy with them Okay, I just got out of TJ Maxx. I did not have very much luck there, which is disappointing. I'm so mad at myself because I bought, you know, three things that I really liked that I thought he was really, really like, but I don't know why I bought them in a size, in the size down from the size he actually needed. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I had to return them all, and then they didn't have any good, like, replacements for them. Nothing that, they didn't have any of it in stock anymore because I bought it like a month ago and then they didn't have anything good. I did find one, um, he's not gonna watch this. I did find one hoodie for him. So I got that, but other than that, I can't, couldn't find anything good to replace other items or like anything good in general. So I need to go to the bigger TJ Maxx that's like in another city, um, but I don't obviously have time for that. But then I did go and I was looking at the pet stuff cause I was filming a TikTok and they had these cooling mats on sale for $12. I don't know what they originally were, but they were $12, which was a really good deal. And these are like heavy duty. I have cooling mats for my dogs, but they don't stay very cool for very long at all. And these are like nice quality. Like they're heavy. Like this is a heavy box. Um, and they like literally feel cool to the touch. And my dogs being Huskies get really hot really easily. And in the summer we're like always at breweries and stuff. And I always bring their cooling mats, but I just never feel like they're working well enough. So I figured I would get, I got those because they were on, I felt like $12 for those was a really good deal. Um, and so I bought those because I was, I've been trying to figure out like what to get my dogs for Christmas because they just have so much stuff and I just, they have so many treats right now because I have so, oh, I have so much stuff that companies send me and they so they just like right now they have so many treats and then i got them the costco bark box advent, advent calendar which is a 50 dollars advent calendar that also has a shit ton of treats in it and then they have so many toys and they're also both really picky about the toys that they'll play with and like i don't know they just like this is like literally so ridiculous that i like struggle this much figuring out what to buy for my dogs but it seriously like they just don't need anything um so i figured that I'll just call that their Christmas presents. Obviously, in the moment, they're not gonna care about it on Christmas morning. Um, so I'm gonna probably get them like some beef cheek rolls because we always go through those really fast um, or bully sticks or something like that so that they have something that they can entertain themselves with on Christmas morning. I'm talking about them like they're humans. They're literally dogs, they don't know. But, um, and then I'm just gonna call that their Christmas presents instead of getting them like, cause normally I would get them each a few things, <laughs> but they just don't need anything, so. This is the, they're gonna enjoy these over the summer, I know, and it was a good deal. So, got those, got one thing for Tito. I'm heading to Target now, um, because I need to restock on a bunch of toiletry stuff. I also wanna get wrapping paper, because I have not gotten that yet, 
um, this year, so I need want to get that. And then I might look around and see if there's anything in there that I want to get for keto or for anybody. Um, but I don't think there will be. So we'll see. But yeah, I will do a Target haul when I am done there. Hey guys, I'm currently on my way to the studio. So yesterday I did go to Maggie's house, but I didn't vlog anything. So that's on me because we didn't end up going to Target or decorating at all, even though that was going to be my master plan because I got a lot later than I was gonna intend to go um and so then by the point i was just hungry and i didn't want to do that anymore but we just hung out um and we watched don't really or we didn't not don't really, my policeman because she's never seen it i was like you have to watch this movie so good so we really enjoyed that and uh, i made her give me some white wine so we were drinking some white wine watching a little movie and it was really cute and having a blast and then yeah now i'm going to the studio i have a solo private today um, for one of my students, I haven't seen her in a while, like months, I'm not even kidding, I think the last time I met with her was over the summer, so I'm really excited to see her and work on her dance, cleaning it, it's already finished, obviously, but, um, you know, we gotta just, like, clean it and stuff, make sure she knows it good, so we're doing that, and then tonight Maddie's not gonna be there, which is really sad because she normally works on Wednesdays, but she has, like, a test or something, I don't know, um, so... I was really sad about that, but then my boss texted me asking if I want to work with the comp team from 7 to 7.30, which is normally when I get my break, um, on their lyrical dance I choreographed for them last year, which is great because I really have been dying to work on that with them because it's been a long time since I, like, the last time I, um, worked on it with them was before their last competition last year, so, like, last spring was the last time we worked on it so it's good that we get I get to go in there and just like kind of clarify everything like they know it but just like counts and whatever and just like make sure everybody is on the same page so that it's a little bit better um because I don't really get an opportunity to work with them so that dance is like doesn't have much of a fair shot honestly because there's not time for me to like clean it and like change choreography you know because sometimes after you watch a dance go on stage for the first time there's things that you're like oh that looks weird or that spacing is odd and like whatever and like it's good to like go to the studio and like practice it but they don't have time for that so for what they have it's pretty good but I want to be able to um give them a little bit more cleaning 30 minutes is not a long time but it's definitely more than what I normally would have so it's great I'm excited about that and it works out kind of because Maddie and I hang out with her during that 30 minutes but now um since she's not gonna be there I'm just going to be able to I'm, have something to do because I was like what am I gonna do during that 30 minutes just like sit by myself and it's so awkward um so yeah it worked out but pretty excited I'll be there from 4 to 8 30 tonight fear that I'm running a little later than I wanted to I probably need to show up like right at 4 which is fine like I'm not gonna be like, late I just like don't like to get there when I could possibly get there before like after them I want to get there like way before so I know that like I'm already there when they show up and whatever but I left a little late today it's okay so yeah that's my day um not much to vlog honestly but just want to give an update because I didn't vlog yesterday really either. I guess I'm really bad at vlogging this week because I know tomorrow and Friday are probably going to be the same thing because I've danced both days, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, Co not Costco. Target was also a fail. Well, I mean, not really because I got all the like stuff I needed, but I they didn't, so it really wasn't a fail. But they just didn't have anything, you know, that I wanted to buy that wasn't what I needed, so. I also didn't get wrapping paper because... I just didn't like any of the options they had, but it looks like they're still putting out Christmas stuff. Um, also, this Target is also smaller than the other Target that's near the other TJ Maxx that's bigger. So really, I think what I just need to do is go all the way to the other side of, to the other city <laughs> and go to the TJ Maxx and Target out there because they're both just bigger and a little bit better. Um, so that I'll have to do in the next couple of weeks, but obviously I have time so but I will do a Target haul as promised I just got a bunch of toiletry stuff I also got a Diet Coke because I'm really thirsty and I didn't bring water with me and it sounded good so I got more body wash I always use native body wash and this one is in toasted vanilla and honey got contact solution I got new toenail clippers I literally buy the really cheap nail clippers and tweezers from target that are like a dollar and then i just replace them all the time instead of buying like nicer quality ones so. but mine always the problem with my toenail clippers is they always get really rusty i guess just from being in my bathroom they like sit out in a little dish on my counter 
they just get really rusty so anyway I bought a new pair because I just threw my other ones away because they were so rusty I got bobby pins the only bobby pins they had that were like black were um matte these are matte bobby pins I was like why don't they just have regular bobby pins but whatever that'll that'll be that'll do that's fine I also got another pack of these headbands because I wear these headbands all the time when my hair is curly um and the problem with my hair is that I always style it when it's wet when it's curly because I can't style my hair when it's dry when it's curly because well if you have curly hair you understand anyway moral of the story is that when my hair is wet and then I style it and then I put one of these headbands on and then these headbands get wet and then over time they just start to smell really weird so and I do wash them I throw them in the washing machine but it's still they just start to smell re really weird so every once in a while I just like to buy a new pack so that you know my head doesn't smell weird um, and then I got deodorant and I got conditioner I have switched from using all of the like fancy black girl mixed girl expensive conditioners to literally just using the like seven dollar pantene conditioner um this is my third bottle of it except every single time I've tried a different one <laughs> this is um I've been using the Pantene Pro-V for the first time I tried the moisturizing one and then I tried the clean one and this one's the Curl Perfection one so I really liked the clean one because I liked the way it smelled a lot but it did not moisturize my hair enough at all like it literally my hair still felt dry like my hair actually felt more dry after conditioning it so unfortunately it's just not gonna work out for me even though I really like the smell but the moisturizing one was good um, so I was gonna get that one again but then I was like, let's just try the Curl Perfection. One day we'll find a conditioner that does what I want it to do. Or we won't. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so that's my Target haul. Now I have to run into PetSmart because it's right there. And um, Izzy, Izzy, my gecko, is out of bugs. So I'm going to run in there, grab some crickets, and then head home. It is 3.36. I am starving because I've not eaten since breakfast. And I still have so much to do in terms of social media stuff. I still need to edit the vlog and I have two TikToks I need to film still. So this really just derailed my whole day and wasn't even as successful as I wanted it to be. But you know, at least I did make that return in time, which is the important thing. Hey guys, today is Thursday and I'm at work, obviously. Um, I literally look like I'm about to pass away because I am so tired. But um, it got really awkward because right when I, he sent me to go on my break, somebody came in and they were ordering like literally at least 20 drinks, I feel like. It was, it was going for a while. It was probably with 10, somewhere between 10 and 20 drinks. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get cold brew. Um... Which is not my first choice, but I got cold brew with two pounds of sugar-free vanilla and sugar cookie foam because I know I I don't love cold brew that much because it's a little bit a little bit acidic. So it just depends on how you get it. But I used to really like it with sugar and vanilla. That actually gave me like shivers in a bad way. I hated that noise and that feeling. And I'm really sorry you had to hear that. Anyways, let's give it a taste test. Tastes like cold brew. It's been so long since I've had cold brew. It's not bad, but it's just like, I'm just so used to like the potency of espresso that this is like kind of watery feeling. It's not bad. Hopefully it gets me through. Hopefully it's enough. Um, so there's a weird guy who is just like, seems a little crazy, who's sitting in our cafe, who like is eating pepper by the packet, so. And like, talking to people and like telling people i don't please i don't even know what's going on there but i'm kind of scared of him and now he's outside smoking and like staring at me so i'm probably just gonna hope that like he doesn't try to tell me things because apparently he like keeps coming up and like telling everybody like things about like the human body and i'm like and he was writing like eight pages of words on receipts and eating pepper by the packet so I'm just really not sure what's going on there, but it's none of my business, I guess. Hey guys, it is after, well, I was going to say it's after work. It's four o'clock. Um, I'm leaving work now to go to Leanna's. Well, actually, I'm going to Chick-fil-A first because I was like, I'm going to be starving because I have not eaten anything since breakfast. And if I have to go to this whole concert, since you, well, I have to go, I'm going to this whole concert and everything. Like, I'm going to be starving if I don't eat anything. So I texted Leanna and I was like, I think I'm going to just go to Chick-fil-A on my way to your house.
house so what like let me know if you want anything so getting food for me her and nelson um going to her house changed today i got anal glanded on by a puppy first thing this morning too like very first thing this morning trying to draw blood blood on this puppy and she was like freaking the freak out and next thing i know i am just covered an anal gland it was in my hair it was all over my shoulder my sleeve my pants are covered in it um and the smell of anal glands is literally disgusting so it was really really bad it was it was so gross it was so gross luckily my coworker lives like right down the road from our clinic so she was able to go to her house and get me an extra scrub top so i could change my top but i still had um have anal gland in my hair and on my pants i tried to wash it out of my hair the best i could but now i just have a big curly chunk of hair due to having to wash it so that's why my hair is like now just like this because part of it's curly so anyway it was a disaster so moral of the story is i desperately need to put on different clothes because i'm disgusting i don't know if i even said where we're going but we're going to the pentatonics concert tonight i think i've said that earlier on in this vlog um, me, Liana, and Nelson, and Tito. We are meeting Tito there because he works out by where the concert's gonna be. So he's just gonna leave work and meet us there, and then me and Liana and Nelson are gonna go together. Um, and the concert's at seven, and I'm a little stressed about time. It's four o'clock right now, but like, I just literally, when I got in my car, it like popped up with like the amount of time it would take me to get to the venue. Um, and it was an hour and 33 minutes, and it said that traffic is heavy, which of course it is because it's like rush hour and we're going towards DC. So obviously traffic's gonna be bad. So I'm like, we need to leave Leanna and Nelson's house by 5 p.m. if we wanna, because I, I don't know that that'll even get us there by seven. Like I'm honestly kind of stressed about it. Like I feel like we should just be leaving and going there now because um, they don't even have an opener or anything. Cause it's just like, it's not even really like a concert. It's like a show. So, anyway, I'm really hoping we're not late to that. I'm a little stressed about it, but I'm gonna zoom over to Chick Fil A. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they're not super busy. Um, and then head over to Leanna Nelson's and change really quick, fast. I'm not even gonna be able to do like much with my hair or anything. Um, just pretty much gonna have to go as is with a different outfit on. And then, yeah, but should be fun. Hopefully we'll get there on time and have a fun festive evening. So I will keep you guys updated. Okay, things got really hairy for a while. Did not seem like we were gonna make it, but I we got made. very grouchy. Anna got super grouchy. grouchy. And I'm gonna tell you why, because we were clearly leaving. We weren't gonna be here at seven, seven and Nelson's just watching a comedy show. Oh my god, comedy show. So and not even often. laughing, which was, no, was annoying. It was just so like, loud. It was so overstimulated that I couldn't And they kept anything. trying to show it to me, but it wasn't funny. And then he just, you're just in a bad mood. Like, no, it's also just not funny. Yeah. So. We were getting a little worried, but it's after seven and they haven't even gone on stage yet. So we made it, we got the keys, we got a beer. Yeah, their traffic was really bad getting in here, so clearly, maybe they delayed it. But we all made it, boys.
Saturday. It is November 23rd. Um, I think it's like, what time is it? I don't have my watch on. I think it's like one o'clock. I am, oh, I just, hi Cooper. <laughs> I just finished cleaning up my room. Um, Tito was here. He came over last night, but he had to go do something. So he is gone for the next few hours. Um, but I have been cleaning my room. Because my room is disgusting, my bathroom is even more disgusting, so that's net. Um, that is next on my agenda. So I'm about to get ready to do that. But I first, when Tito gets back, we're gonna finally put up my Christmas tree in my room. I have literally been not putting it off, but like I just been meaning to do this for weeks now, and I just have not gotten around to it. Um, so I'm finally gonna do that today. So of course I figured we'd vlog, have a little festive fun. Um. But I need to move this bookshelf because that is where I always put my Christmas tree. And normally I just have my smaller bookshelf, which you guys are sitting on right now, this one. But then, and this one was right there. And I would just move it to right here next to my TV, which is where it currently is. But now this bookshelf permanently lives here because my other bookshelf that T Tito just got me, this one for my birthday this year, and it lives over here. But now I obviously can't move that to where I would normally move it because there's already a bookshelf there. So I'm like, where am I supposed to move this so that I can put my tree in that corner? Um, but I think that I'm just going to move it to that wall right there behind my desk. Um, I feel like it's going to look kind of dumb, but like, it's not permanent. It's just for Christmas. So I am going to move that. But it's going to be like really a kind of a pain in the ass because... I'm gonna have to take everything off of it. And it's gonna be kind of heavy because this bookshelf's like really big. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get time lapse while I do that. And then after I get that all moved over, then I'm gonna clean my bathroom. Then I'm gonna take a shower. And then I'm hoping that by that point, Tito's back. Um, and then I can get out my Christmas stuff and finally put up my tree, get some festive this going on with the christmas tree situation <laughs> um yeah but that's that so let's move my bookshelf all right i finished moving my bookshelf i would literally never keep it here. I feel like, well, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look completely horrible. I don't love it though. Um, this whole situation over here is, feels very messy and cluttered, but <laughs> while we're at it, let me do a bookshelf tour for you guys. If you've never seen my bookshelf before. Okay. So top shelf, I have the two build bears that Tito has gotten me. And then I have all my Christmas books I keep up there. And then also these books were sent to me, um, for a TikTok and I don't, Know what to do with them so they're just up there and then on my second shelf i have this adorable picture of me and my siblings and then i have all of my like horror thriller books um and then down here this is all my books that are not thriller or romance um that i don't know what like what to categorize them as it is like 90 percent jody pico a couple of ellen hilder brand and then this book I've never read. Um, Tito gave it to me because like someone was donating books to his work, so he just like took that one and gave it to me. And then I have A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is the only fantasy book I have because I read it and I didn't like it that much, so I never read another fantasy book again. But yeah, those are basically just all my books that like aren't thriller or romance, so they're just right there. Picture of me and Tito from so long ago. We were both so skinny. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, and then I keep my candle warmer right there. And then down here, I have all of my albums, which is mostly Taylor Swift, literally Midnight's, Folklore, Lover, Red, Speak Now, Fearless. And then I have a couple Harry ones. Uh, these are both Shawn Mendes and then Khalid. But I almost have all of Taylor's albums. I asked for the ones I don't have for Christmas, but obviously I'm waiting for Reputation, Taylor's version to come out. Um, so... I don't have that one, but I asked for Evermore and I asked for 1989 for Christmas. And then I have my record player right here. And then down here I have 
this little sign all you need is love and a husky and this little husky who's actually a door stopper um he's also like really dusty and dirty and then here i have the twisted series um because i just have these here because it's one of my favorite series i've read so i just gave that series its own special moment so yeah and uh, all my other books all my romance novels are on my other bookshelf so i have two rows of romance novels so that is how I organized my books, in case anybody wanted to know. Nobody asked, but now you know. Anyway, now this corner is empty, except, except my hoverboard, so I guess I should move that somewhere else. Um, yeah, and ready to go for when Tito's back so we can finally put up my Christmas tree. Hey, Phoebe. What is the problem? I don't know what her deal is. Okay, Tito's back. Honey, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> so we're gonna put up my Christmas tree. So I'm gonna set up a little time lapse. No idea. Wow, oh, you're oh, so close. close. <laughs> I got Okay, don't get a concussion. I'm afraid to like rip your like skin off. I looked like Charles the Snake by the end of it. Yeah. Oh my god. I made these. And I was like, actually, I have. And then I was Hey guys, made some earrings. Um, these are Allison's earrings. They match her eyes. Those these are mine. Are Ashley's? Don't they just give Ashley? Yeah. These are Caitlin's. Don't those give Caitlin? And these are mine. Can I put mine in? Yeah. Why are you zooming in? I thought you were gonna put them in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
feel like I did this. Black you can see my whole body by actually looking at it. And I get the feeling that you'll never 